Greetings, everyone. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, there is a certain restlessness about the arena atmosphere tonight because nobody wants to be embarrassed with a sweep, not the players and certainly not the fans. But this is 0-3, and the home team is thinking what? Let's win the first period. Uh, that needs to be the goal of the home team. Don't worry about the score. Don't worry about the series numbers. Worry about winning the first period. You're looking to gain some momentum at some point here, Doc. Has them a great to this point, but win the first period and build some confidence because right now they are lacking that. Let's look at the starting netminders. A forgettable start last time. He got blown out. A must win for him to prove that he can't stay in that goal crease in the future. He won the last one, so why not another? It's the playoffs. Nothing to save it for. And they are ready for the opening faceoff, and so are we. Shifley sent to the big center ice circle for Winnipeg. Monahan's out there to try to beat him for Calgary. A neutral zone interception. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. And now it's directed to Line. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Cotton quickly back. Shoots. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Got that pass in his own end. Puck is thrown to Monaghan. Defender held his ground. Puck is loose. Moving it to Wheeler. Using the point. Right along the blue line. Shoots it off. He caught it and he holds on. Down near the players is Ray Ferraro. It almost seems like the fans are waiting to get into the game, Doc. They're nervous as their team has got their backs up against the wall. They want something to happen and to happen early. Many thanks, Ray. A good tie-up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Things are heating up with that hit. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. And the whistle signals an offside. Calgary's won that faceoff in the neutral zone. Cut that off between the blue lines. Chip the Hannafin. Intercepted it in no man's land. Trying to go to Buffalo. Could be trouble near the line. That puck left the zone, and so everybody will have to reset. And he steps in. Points it. Slid back across from one point to the other. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Besides, that's too much, and hangs on. The defenders caught a break here. Lots of pressure in their end of the ice, but the goalie freezes the puck, and they can catch their breath. Just a bit under six minutes have passed. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Calgary's prevailed on another faceoff. The Flames have it along the side at mid-ice. Shutout positioning by Myers. Looking to Lowry. Is able to move on in. Back on his stick. Seeks the corner. Oh, and the puck winds up back at center ice. Man. Pass attempt to Cobb. Broke it up. To Roslovic. Pitching this one to Perot. On to Roslovic. Great deep there. Calgary skating from the neutral zone. And he dumps it in. In their own end, making progress. Directing that one to Perot. Let's it go. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. 
brings a shot. A wonderful shot answered quickly. The Jets with a face-off win. Snapping a pass to Line. Carries it on in from center. Read that play in his own end. Picked up behind the net. A hit that can make you mad. Shifley's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Moves it to the corner. Terrific poke check by Brody. Pitching it to Lindholm. To Giordano. That puck is loose on good defensive play. Scooped up by Brody. Slid to Ryan. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Waffle boarding. Rister. And on top of that, another great stop. Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Puck loose. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. Not very often you see a big hit like that in open ice. Batted away with authority. And still another save. What a show. These saves are all about positioning. Well, here is Mike Smith, a living example of blooming where you're planted, even if it's in the desert southwest. What has made him so important? Great size, Doc. Six foot four, 215 pounds. Takes up a lot of the net. And oh, yeah, he can handle the puck, as well as some of the defensemen in the National Hockey League. Winnipeg's got it again. A howitzer and a save. Score! certainly have more energy. They've got the game's first score, and now they can play from in front. So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Fantastic poke check by Hammond. The Flames are skating it up in neutral ice. Looks from the corner. Using the point, he's got it. But ricocheted off the screen. The Flames suffer a tripping call. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Winnipeg's power play will have its first chance of the game. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebound. 15 minutes, 45 seconds. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Able to go uncontested behind the net. Pass comes to him from the crease. Winnipeg's in possession as they travel up the wing. Fires! Lost the puck, just couldn't get by. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. Passing one off now to Valamaki. Skating up the center zone wing. Winnipeg's power play did not do it for them. Great work with the stick. And now it's directed to Little. Brings a shot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Receives that pass from the other side. Elevates a pass to Myers. Out to the point with it now. They're getting ready to strike. Skates it behind the net. Pat it away. Puck controlled now by the defense. It's dumped in. The Jets retreat, but they've got still some time and still some energy left in this period. Good work along the boards. Great poke check there. 
20 minutes are in the books. And so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. Winnipeg's got the only goal in this one thus far. There are two periods to go, and that's a good thing for at least one team. Overwhelmed in the shots on goal totals in that period. Ten for the Jets and four for the Flames. Winnipeg's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? The Flames are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Leads that charge into the zone. He's got that point pass. Heads on behind. Laid on to Line. Terrific challenge, outstanding save. Equal to the challenge, nice stop. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Jets win it. Free puck thanks to the roadblock. Calgary's along the wing at center ice. Still with it in the defensive zone. Puck is thrown to Shifley. One-timer missed. Well, I guess that's great. He shot the puck hard, but he misses the net by 20 feet. The pad came in handy that time. Out to the half wall. Threatening an attack. Wonderful save of an all-star shot. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Over three minutes skated here in the second. Winnipeg's got the lead, 1-0. The face-off, the tie-up, and a solid job from the winger there. Moving it to Bennett. Trying to go to Buffalo. The Jets skate it up on the side. Let's it go. Well done with that pass. Shoots. Score! taking a wrist shot it's all about weight transfer transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck that's exactly what happened there that shot is delivered quickly before he can shut down the five wall the puck scoots through before he has a chance to close it up the Jets have now enlarged their lead to two to nothing at the rate they're going in this game they might make it three fast take it over again Loose puck knocked away by Backlund. Looking to Connor. He takes that point pass. Pass attempt. He's got this one, and they're after him. Solid glove save. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. up but a good reach and a good step in there for possession and he dumps it in to Neal the Flames with control at center ice and the pickup wonderful play by the defense gains the zone 
He wheels behind. And freezes play for the whistle. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. He scores! Three straight goals! That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. Over seven minutes have been skated in the second. The Jets lead by three, going for four. Matthew assisted by number 70. Takes it right back. And at an angle, Duroslovic. Nice work done with the stick there. It's dumped in. Gathered up again by Morrow. Puck loose. Good defensive play. Gives it to the point. Great defensive play with the stick. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Very important steal for him. The Jets look to make a difference up the wing. Shoots one. Shot. Wonderful save. Smith's had an excellent game in goal. He has had to deal with several difficult opportunities. He stopped most of them, but offensively, they can't even get in the game. Somehow, this one's going to come free. Winnipeg skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Cuts that pass off. Taken away. Punched away. He takes that pass right off the left wing. Really good cut of the pass. Skates it into the zone. Let's it go. You score! Another step in the road back. They're down by two. success on your birthday. He's able to tuck a goal in, and what's kind of funny, guys, he'd been telling his teammates about this this morning, and they said, well, why don't you go get yourself a present, score a goal. Calgary's trying to crawl out of the hole they dug for themselves. They're back to within two here. Lots of time to go. We're in the second period. Solid win at center ice. Now what? And he dumps it in. Pitching this one to Brody. Directing that one to Lindholm. Calgary's moving it up the wing. 11 minutes, 57 seconds. Takes that pass. Good defensive read with that one. Doc, they've been turning the puck over way too much. Now they're starting to press as they try to get back to the game. The Jets skated up on the side. Skill play by Brody. Snapping a pass to Giordano. Driving in from no man's land. Sauced big time to Stone. Gloved. Puck covered. Whistle blown. The Flames prevailing on the faceoff. He corrals it again. Propelled to Valamaki. And the puck heads to the neutral zone, and so everybody has to get reset. Let's the shot fly. Stick to some. In with it now. Thinking attack here. That went off the pad. Chip to Ryan. Strong defensive play. Puck loose, denied by the defense. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Calgary's got it and moving up the wing. Goalie to the bench. Extra attacker out. Let's it go. Wheeler's going to the box, and the call is tripping.
I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Calgary's getting their first chance of the game on the power play. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Odd man rush, two on one. Save. Score! A goal on the power play. got a nose for the net, and especially scoring goals off the rebound. Hey, Enzo, you know what they say. You want food, you go to the grocery store. You want a goal, you go to the net. There's the rebound. He bangs it in. Calgary has gotten an important goal here. They're back to within one, and still a whole period ahead. And the faceoff's won. Pitching it to Shifley. Terrific determination by Backlund. Passing one off now to Kachuk. Puck loose, couldn't get through. And now it's directed to Shifley. He's got that one measured in the attacking zone. Perfect wrister. Wonderful stop. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Bennett. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Good save there. Nicely received at the point. Quickly off the stick. To Backlund. On to Bennett. Shoot. Save there. Two periods are in the books here. And the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. Check out the shots on goal through those two periods. 19 for Winnipeg and 15 for Calgary. Winnipeg's got the lead at the end of the period and their goaltender has made a huge difference in that. Here's just an example of his body of work. We'll be right back. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Jets have been the better team, Doc, through two periods of play. They're up by one as we get ready to start the third, but it could be more with the chances that they've had through the first 40 minutes. Pass cut. Brody's looking to leave. Puck is thrown to Goudreau. The Flames with possession up the wing. Great save. Gives it over to the point. Wedged further to Goudreau. In that defensive zone, an important play. Save! He got all of it, and so did he. Moving into Monaghan. Trying to go to Goudreau. Looking to Brody. Pass attempt to Giordano. Steps in from the neutral zone. A shot! A wonderful shot answered quickly. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Recollects it. That's a good defensive stick there. That's completed up the wing to Connor. Up to the point. Chooses the corner for this. Handled with the stick. Pitching this one to Goudreau. Sides to head for the corner. Goudreau's tripped and a penalty should be coming. A one-timer, a textbook stick save. Bufflin's headed to the penalty box, a minor for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Calgary's to the power play again. And they have rung in one already. Let's see if they get another. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. They've taken the heat off again. 
The clock still moves. Knocked off the puck. Right to the point. Directing that one to Backlund. Slid to Neal. In the slot. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Great opportunity. Better stop. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Under seven minutes gone in this period. Five goals in this game. It's a 3-2 contest, and it's tight. Calgary's got that face-off win. The Flames' power play let them down at a key point. A shot. Save. Snapping a pass to Buffalo. Winnipeg's controlling play now through neutral ice. World-class deep there. A howitzer may not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Skill play by James Neal. Steps across that line. Has it in his own end. Great job in his own end with that interception. Pitching it to Connor. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they? The physical play in this game has really picked up, and there's a perfect example of that. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Neutralized face-off win. Can start the attack going in the zone. Forcing attention in deep. Muscled long to Myers. Cut that pass in his own end. Just couldn't make it. To Roslovic. Huge hit. Shuts that offense right off. Passing one off now to Perot. Good stick there, so the pass is not complete. Stick to stick, he's got it. All right, here's a long pass, and it's on the money. Tries to get it on net. Save. And decides to just hold on and get a stoppage of play. I don't think the puck here ever thought that this player was going to come in and make this big, huge hit. The Jets prevail again. Nearly grazed the iron on that. And now it's directed to Neal. To the point it comes. Waffle boarded. Hit the post on the outside. That puck's loose went off somewhere. One timer. Great glove save. Winnipeg's continuing to probe up the wing. Wheeler's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Into the attacking end. Shoots. Stared him down and made the save. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Good job with the stick. And he picks it up. This game is going to wind down and be close right to the final horn. Each team has tried to enforce their style of play on the other. It's just not happened. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Well, that's a bad turnover, Doc. When you're ahead, that puck has to be moved into a safe area of the ice 100% of the time. Knocked right off the stick. Play goes offside, and we get a halt. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save.
Puck drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Nice work with the stick, poked it right away. Oh, a save there. Puck is thrown to Hannafin. Gains that offensive line. Feeds the point. Shoots one. Shot not too strong, pad stop. Winnipeg setting up an offense from the wing. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Moving it to Lindholm. Locks on that to Monaghan. Shoots one. No! Oh, they moved the puck quickly. He got into that one-timer, but he shot it wide of the net. Trying to go to Little. Good place to shoot from, and he does. And a save. Puck covered, whistle blown. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. It's frantic time. Under a minute to go. Great defensive poke. Calgary's marching on halfway up the ring. It's dumped in. Truba's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. Good position in the slot. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Calgary's got two on this one for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Winnipeg's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. Calgary's pulling their goalie, saying, take a chance, why not? One into another. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. It's one. Save. They can look at the history books and talk about teams that came from 3-0 down to win. They are at 3-1 with game five ahead. They did it, Doc. A win. And not just a win. A win that staves off elimination. They'll have to battle uphill if they want to continue. But at least they've proven they belong and they're still in the series. The tournament moves along with even more promising matchups in the future. Don't miss those. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying so long for now.